Hello all, we are moving on to module 2 biomedical instrumentation. In this module, we have to deal with bioelectric electrodes and electroconduction system of heart. Now, first topic biopotential electrode. A wide variety of electrodes can be used to measure the bioelectric events or various processes that are taking place inside the human body and in order to measure and record this bioelectric potentials we need to provide some interface between the body and the electronic measuring apparatus that is we need to measure the potential of that particular surface body surface by means of some electrode or by means of some interface that is by keeping an interface or an electrode by that only we can measure the various potentials and current in the body and this interface function is carried out by biopotential electrodes the electrode must serve as a transducer to change an ionic current into electronic current Okay, so whenever a change that takes place inside a cell, the output will be an ionic change or ionic flow. And this ionic current, we need to change it into or convert it into an electronic current, an equivalent electronic current. And this electronic current need to be measured externally. So for detecting this electronic current, so this conversion that is the ionic current into electronic current is converted by the interface electrode and when the electrodes are in their simplest form they are made up of pieces of metal and such metal pieces are placed on above the surface of the body or in some other cases they are kept inside the body surface that is inside the skin or inside the body surface there are different type of biopotential electrodes okay so the basic form is a simple metal piece which is kept above or just inside the skin of the body that is the only intention is to they need to be kept in contact with the body in order to detect the potential body potential okay and in this case we are considering the body fluids as electrolytes and due to this contact between this metal piece and the electrolyte solution electrolyte is body fluid there will be an electrochemical reaction that will produce a difference of potential between the metal and the solution and the chemical reaction that occur between this metal and electrolytes influence the performance of biopotential electrodes so when the electrode is placed on the skin surface there is some electrical resistance at the electrode skin interface and since the skin's natural resistance is very high compared to resistance of the body fluid then the selected skin site is to be well prepared by cleaning or by some alcohol or acetone and then only we should keep that electrode on that body surface and this ensures a low value of electro skin interface resistance that is by cleaning the skin surface by some means it will ensure the reduction of the electrode skin interface resistance then only we, we can obtain the proper measurement of bioelectric potential by the electrode when an electrode makes contact with the skin through an electrolyte paste the equivalent circuit is shown in the figure you can see here so this is the skin surface this first, uh, the from the bottom the three layers are the skin surface and we are keeping the electrode above the skin surface by means of some electrolytic gel and this is the electrode and the equivalent circuit of this total setup that is uh, the skin uh, the contact resistance which is given here and electrode is is this is given by this 
so here rs becomes the effective resistance of the gel that is placed between the electrode and the skin and that is this electrolytic gel joins the electrode as well as the skin and there will be a contact resistant in the joint which is given by the rs okay and the epidermis layer of the skin may be considered as a semi permeable membrane and the potential difference across it is represented by ese okay and the epidermic layer has also an electrical impedance which is represented by the parallel circuit ce and re the dermis and subcutaneous layer under it behaves in general as a pure resistance rde this is the dermis layer suppose subcutaneous layer okay so that is about the introduction of the biopotential electrodes why they are employed and where they are employed now going to the types of the biopotential electrodes now in order to measure the biopotential there are different type of electrodes and they are classified into skin surface electrode needle electrode and micro electrode first one skin surface electrode they are used to measure various parameters such as electrocardiogram electroencephalogram electromyogram potentials on the surface of the skin next one is needle electrode needle electrode they are used to penetrate the skin to record the eeg potentials from a local region of the brain or electromyogram potentials from a specific group of muscles next is micro electrode as their name itself they are micro in structure and they are used to measure bioelectric potentials near a single cell so all these three type of biopotential electrodes have the same structure or same equivalent circuit which we have explained in the previous slide in each case the electrode potential is developed across the interface and it is proportional to the exchange of ion between the metal and the electrolytes of the body and there is there is a double layer of charge at the interface and it will act as a capacitor in this case okay that is uh, as i have told there is a electrolytic gel which which acts as the interface between the electrode and the skin and therefore it is uh, like a double plate capacitor with a interface in between thus the equivalent circuit of this electrode which is in contact with the body consists of a voltage in series with a resistance capacitance network as i have shown in the previous figure so now let us move in detail to each of these three type of electrode skin surface electrode skin surface electrode it is the it is also known as body surface electrode now this are uh, before developing the skin surface or body surface electrode the type of electrode which were in use are Im immersion electrode there were buckets of saline solution and into that buckets the human being will dip their hands and feet okay and in this manner the immersion type electrodes were functioning uh, but there are many disadvantages related to this type of electrode because restricted position of the uh, placing of the hands and legs inside the bucket and also there is a danger of electrolyte spillage to outside the bucket okay and also uh, in this case the electrolyte uh, the human being is immersing his hand or leg completely inside the electrolyte so there is a chance of chemical action in on the body surface thereby causing some allergy and all to the skin surface so these are all the uh, disadvantages of immersion electrode so in order to overcome uh, this disadvantages the body surface or skin surface electrode were developed after this so in this electrode that is skin surface electrode uh, which are of different type such as metal plate electrode suction electrode floating electrode spray on electrode disposable electrode air clip electrode scarp surface electrode now let us uh, learn each of them in briefly 
So first one metal plate electrode. So before that this is the immersion electrode. Immersion electrode here you can see a manister he is immersing his leg inside the electrolyte solution and the measurements are taken from within. Okay, so this is the immersion electrode. Now metal plate electrode. Metal plate electrodes are again so next moving on to metal plate electrode. Metal plate electrodes they frequently used form of biopotential sensing electrode and it is the simplest form and it consists of metallic conductor which is in contact with the skin. So in this case the contact that is the there will be uh, some interface between this electrode and the metal metal plate and the skin and uh, electrolyte is kept in between these two uh, material that is uh, metal plate and the skin and at the interface electrolyte is soaked in a pad or a, uh, or a gel which acts as an electrolyte is kept in and the interface of the electrode and the skin and this will in establish a good contact between the metal plate and the skin now the three different type of metal plate electrodes are the the metal plate electrode is used for application of limbs metal disc electrode is used which is uh, apl applicable in case of surgical tape or applied along with the surgical tape and third one is disposable foam pad electrode so first one metal plate electrode which is used for application of limb in this case it consists of a flat metal plate and that has been bent into a cylindrical segment a flat metal plate is bent into a cylindrical segment and the terminal is placed on the outside surface near one end this is that is the terminal is used to attach the lead wire into the electrocardiogram as I have told this are mainly used for EEG and ECG measurement and this type of electrode there will be a rubber tap which is connected to the electrode and this will hold this electrode to the arm or leg of a human being and this is a traditionally made by means of German silver and before it is attaching to the body there is a concave surface on it and it is covered with the electrolyte gel and after covering it with electrolyte gel it is rubber tapped trapped into the position where we need to attach this electrode so that is in case of application for the limbs that is to the legs and hands so this is the figure here you can see this is the plate electrode this is the concave surface and by this rubber strap we are holding this electrode in position to the legs or hands okay <coughs> okay so uh, this is made by silver nickel or some kind of alloy so next one is metal disc electrode used for used with the surgical tape okay so in this case there is a lead wire soldered or welded to the back surface of the electrode and this can be made of several different materials and when the when we are connecting this lead wire and the electrode so here uh, the connection between this lead wire at the back side and the electrode there will be a protected protective layer of insulating material such as epoxy resin or polyvinyl chloride so this is a type of metal disc electrode and in this case uh, the only difference is instead of rubber trap in the previous one here we are employing a surgical tape and it is welded back to the surface and in the in between this lead wire and the electrode there is an insulating material such as epoxy resin or polyvinyl chloride and the third one is disposable foam pad electrode and this can be used as a chest electrode for recording ECG in cardiac monitoring for long term recordings. It consists of a relatively large disc of plastic foam material with a silver plated disc on one side which is attached to a silver plate snap similar to that used on 
clothing in the center of other side. A lead wire is connected onto the electrode and then only they are used. Okay, that is in the as in the previous case, uh, you, that is a metal electrode with the surgical tape. Here also there is a lead wire and and an electrode. And uh, this silver plated disc serves as the electrode. The electrode material is silver plate and this is coated with the silver chloride layer that is AgCl layer. And, and this acts as an interface between the electrode and the skin. So in this case also the electrolytic gel is used for covering the disc. The disc is the electrode here and the electrolyte gel is the interface between the electrode and the skin. Uh, the, in the both side of the gel what we are having one, one side electrode and other side skin. The electrode side of this foam is covered with an adhesive material that is compatible with the skin. And a protective cover or strip of paper or cotton is placed over the electrode side. Okay, so this is the construction of the uh, feature features of the disposable foam pad electrode. Okay, the difference is it consists of a disposable foam pad in between the skin surface and the electrode. Okay, so that is about the metal plate electrodes. So in the next session, let us move on to suction type electrodes.